why I made 20 Pro Alert, here's why buying this phone now might be a bad idea. Huawei i Mate 20 Pro is one of the best Android phones around at the moment, but here is why buying one now might be a bad idea. Huawei i Mate 20 Pro debuted back in October and was notable for its vast array of flagship features it brought to the table. Huawei i Mate 20 Pro comes with a gorgeous 6.39-inch OLED display that has the resolution of 1440x3120 and a density of 538 pixels per inch. Moreover, the handset also comes with a massive 4,200 mAh battery that easily delivers all-day life for Android fans. Mate 20 Pro's headline feature is by far its triple camera array that is one of the most diverse around. The Chinese flagship comes with a 40-megapixel main sensor that is accompanied by a 20-megapixel wide-angle module and an 8-megapixel telephoto system. Huawei i Mate 20 Pro also has a number of other great features that include a fast processor, an in-display fingerprint reader and the ability to wirelessly charge other devices that are placed on its rear. Since its debut, the Mate 20 Pro has tumbled in price by around £100, meaning it can now be purchased from a number of UK retailers for £799. While the handset's price and feature set will surely be incredibly tantalizing for Android fans looking to upgrade their smartphone, purchasing one ahead of Hawaii Eye's scheduled hardware event on Tuesday, March 26, could be a bad idea. That is because the Chinese OEM will unveil its P30 Pro handset at the exhibition in Paris that has been rumored to boast a number of substantial features. My Smart Price recently posted claimed images of the forthcoming Hawaii Eye handset that was displayed with four cameras on its rear. The outlet claimed the device will have a similar main and wide-angle lens to the Mate 20 Pro but will bolster its photography offering with an 8-megapixel sensor that harnesses a periscope-style system to deliver improved zooming. In particular it was iterated the P30 Pro could be capable of delivering a 10 times hybrid zoom. Finally. The P30 Pro was also tipped to include a time-of-flight (TOF) sensor that could be used to improve photography and provide 3D scanning functionality. On its front the forthcoming Hawaii Eye product was displayed with an all-screen design and a small notch at its top. My Smart Price stated the panel will offer a resolution of 1080p which would be lower than the 1440p present on the Mate 20 Pro. As expected, the P30 Pro was claimed to be powered by Hawaii Eye's Kirin 980 processor that is also housed inside the Mate 20 Pro. The fast processor was said to be accompanied by 8 GB of RAM and up to 512 GB of storage. No details of pricing for the P30 Pro were mentioned, however it is expected the device will come at a premium similar to the P20 Pro when it launched last year. The rumored specs and features for the P30 Pro mean those tempted to purchase a Mate 20 Pro should probably wait until Hawaii Eye's scheduled hardware event on Tuesday before doing so, at least if they want the latest and greatest the firm has to offer. This is especially the case for those concerned with smartphone photography.